Brown's Raw. I'm sorry, I'm definitely pronouncing this wrong. But uh, thoughts on the recent Rick Perry uh, ad? Um, oh, I, yeah. <laughs> Clark, maybe you can uh, maybe you can uh, highlight that ad because I've only heard it secondhand, and maybe you can repeat it, and I'll sure comment on it if if it's as I heard secondhand. I mean, if, if we redid it, you know, one would think it was a parody off of The Onion uh, or the Steve Colbert Show. Um, the ad that's being referred to uh, was one that, that ran earlier this week. Uh, Governor Perry, um, either under, under bad advisement counsel or his own bad decision, thought that he would tie in the war on Christmas uh, with the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell and open service to the military. Um, the ad was clearly designed to reach a target market in, in Iowa. Uh, uh, for the Iowa caucuses, um, you know, from a tactical standpoint, it was very ham-fisted to think that an ad in this day and age with social media, where you can go online and do a, a dialogue on Yowie or Facebook uh, or, or Twitter, uh, that that ad would stay in a media market uh, in a small niche and, and not go all over the world. Um, and, and, and let's face it, it actually was anti-conservative uh, in its nature. Um, you know, he, he's supposed to be running for commander in chief. Governor, you're running for commander in chief. All the other candidates are running to be the president uh, as well as commander in chief. And he came off sounding like he wanted to run as the theocrat uh, in chief. Um, it was a very divisive ad. Um, and earlier you were talking about uh, the challenge we have uh, within the broader conservative movement of maintaining ranks uh, and, and losing folks to the independent column. And, and an ad like that. Uh, has, was a real distraction, is a distraction, and certainly uh, if someone uh, didn't already have issue with uh, with his message on, on the broader platform, it, it turned off a, a, num a number of potential voters and unfortunately um, added to the, the, the perception that, that some Republicans uh, can be uh, exclusionary uh, and, and to the point of mean-spirited and, and irrelevant. You know, Clark, I couldn't uh, have said that uh, any better, and um, I think what this what this just adds fuel to is my notion that if the Republican Party is going to uh, nominate a candidate that's going to lead with a social conservative agenda, with a social conservative agenda, uh, I don't think that Americans are going to buy that. I think uh, Republicans are going to find themselves in a third party kind of a situation, uh, look, uh, Republicans need to concentrate on dollars and cents and um, this, this ad um, uh, lends itself to anything but that. And that's, that's when in Washington, at the top of this dialogue, next week, issue number one that Speaker Boehner is talking about is jobs, 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 and the economy. And here you have uh, a contender competing against you going completely the opposite direction, which is not the bread and butter issues that Americans want to talk about. Well, and you hit it on the head, too, that, uh, that in the past uh, this may have been an ad that uh, just went unnoticed by the rest of the country, but with uh, media as it exists today, the Internet, that uh, no, this, doesn't, this is not escaping anyone's attention. 